national. Oh my, it's graphics. <laughs> well, anyhow, you're about to watch a scientist take a sample of molten lava. And it's in slow motion. Very slow motion. So, supposedly, the lava is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we've got to ask quite a few questions about this whole thing. If it's 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, what, what type of rod did he put in there? <laughs> and if it melts rock, why wouldn't it melt a little aluminum rod? If supposedly this stuff is molten rock at approximately 2,000 degrees, so why doesn't it melt the rod? Ask yourself that question. Another question to ask. How is it that he can get so close to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit? Oh, I know, he has on this suit, this asbestos suit. But you, do you really think that with that on you can get close to that type of temperature, 2,000 degrees? <laughs> So another question to ask is this, if that rod was able to get some molten rock, right, as you see it there on that stick, if it's molten rock, why is it sticking to the stick? <laughs> it's like taking a stick in a bathtub and saying, I'm going to get you a drink of water with this stick. You're not going to get water out with a stick. You'll get water on a stick. But how do you take molten rock, something that's liquid, and put it on a stick? Let alone let the stick remain intact, because the stick should be melting too. In other words, it's all just nonsense. Now, of course, the other thing that you need to realize is that they embed demons into photographs and scattered throughout the lava are demon faces everywhere, okay? All you have to do is just try to concentrate on one area and you can see the demon faces. So, for example, if you take a look uh, in the upper section up here, you can see a demon face. Pick out any spot you want, and you'll find some demon faces staring at you, laughing at you cursing you, causing you to accept lies for truth. So I'll keep uh, putting this on slow-mo motion because there's a little more yet to come with this nonsense. You have to be very careful because the ground could collapse. Now notice how the molten rock stays gooey but it's supposed to be molten rock. Now this joker here is going to tell you you have to be very careful because the ground might collapse. Now watch, watch, watch. And if you're not careful, you'll take a hot lava bath and be cooked in the flow. Now let's just watch for the duping delight. Keep watching the face, keep watching the smile, the duping delight. I'm a liar. I love to tell lies. 
I love to see you be fooled. You will believe anything from anyone as long as it's on film, a documentary, on TV, on national, <laughs> geographic lies. Ha <laughs> ah, ha ha. You're a sucker. Now here this tells you really the whole thing is a charade. So now we're taken to a helicopter that's supposedly filming the volcano in Hawaii, the most active volcano in Hawaii. Now let's ask some questions about this. If this is a helicopter in the air, what can film a helicopter in the air? But about another helicopter right smack in front of it. All right? Now, I don't have a pilot license, and I've never flown in a helicopter. But I'll tell you one thing. If I was in that helicopter right there on your screen, I would not want another one to be as close as the camera is filming this thing. So there's another hokey hokey thing. And I'll give you one more hokey thing about it. The so-called scientists that filmed this stuff, their last name was Kraft. Kraft! It's a craft! The art of lying and they're nothing but crafty people. Friends, volcanoes are a hoax. You don't have to worry about a volcano erupting. You don't have to worry about molten lava pouring down on any community. And you don't have to believe any nonsense like Mount Vesuvius erupting and killing all those people in ancient times because it never happened. Nobody died. Nobody got hurt in any volcano. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.